Hey what's happening YouTube it's Darren here from Pebcat back with another tech support video this time it's for a question posted by Wild Expression 1892 I'm hoping that's not a year of birth um, this question was posted and it's a bit of a random one it's not going to be a very common problem and I can't tell you exactly what causes it but I can tell you how to troubleshoot it so the main problem is that you're getting a pop-up saying MP83 has stopped working and I have and you've no idea how to fix it. The only information you've got is when you click more info you get this, it tells you the version number and a lot of extraneous useless information that is probably important in some way to the people who made whatever application this is. So the first thing you want to try is searching that file name so put it in quotes so you get the exact file not just anything that mentions the words mp83 or exe in and i did this already ignore this one you will always find something saying spyware don't automatically assume it is spyware it's probably not the more likely cause is something lenovo related so first question are you using a lenovo machine a laptop a desktop something along those lines if so, that's more than likely your problem. It's something to do with a Lenovo piece of software built into the machine that you need to either update, remove, or fix. So how can you find out for sure? What you want to do is right-click on your taskbar down at the bottom, choose Task Manager. You can do the same thing by just clicking on the Windows button and typing Task Manager if you prefer. Uh, yours may come up looking like this. What you want to do is click More Details. And then head over to the details screen. If you click on where it actually says name, the column header, until it's sorted alphabetically, and then find your mp83.exe. Obviously, I don't have that particular file, particular file on here. But if you do, if you see it in there, right-click on it and choose Open File Location. And this will take you to wherever that file is stored on your machine. And what you're looking for is what folder is it in? Does it mention Lenovo? Does it give you any more information about what that application is? If it is Lenovo, what I suggest you do is head over to the Lenovo website. Make sure you go to the right one for your country. Lenovo.com will generally get you there and find it. Mine knows I'm in the UK. And after accepting their cookies of course uh, find their support section where is it on Lenovo products resources support products and services solutions go away adverts there must be a support page on here aha uh -huh, support customer support there we're looking um, PCs and laptops few PC support you oh in fact do you know what to make your life a little simpler, you're probably better off choosing Detect Product. If you do this, it's likely to download a little bit of software uh, called Lenovo Service Bridge. It'll detect your exact device and then run through any driver and software updates they offer you. I can't find, unfortunately, what specific piece of software. They'd beware of websites like this, driversforlenovo.com. That's not a legitimate Lenovo website. Uh, dxtours.com again not always go to the manufacturer's site get your drivers your updates from there there isn't a lot of information about this specific file unfortunately sometimes you get lucky and there's an exact article mention that file but it seems to indicate it is an m83 uh, sorry it is an a lenovo related file so apologies i can't give you the exact answer but you want to do a google search and then find the file in Task Manager in the Details tab. Open its file location, and that'll give you a lot more information. Do you know, OneDrive, for example, instantly tells me it's part of Microsoft. If I had chosen another one, let's say, do you know what? There isn't a lot running on this machine because it's just a virtual machine, so it's difficult. These are all system processes. Um, yeah, Explorer.exe, I already know, is again going to be a Windows related process. Um, but yeah, that's that's your way to start troubleshooting it. If you have any problems, um, by all means, just drop me a comment on Reddit or in the comments for this video. And if I can help you a little bit further, I will. Always happy to do free remote support as long as you don't mind me doing a video out of it. And we can arrange a time to do that. 
Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you liked it, if it helped, if it's got you anywhere, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.